Hey everybody, how's it going? So today I'm going to talk to you all about you know the current state of Halo 5, my thoughts on the settings, moving forward, what I'd like to see, some of the things I've seen in the past that have worked, and I'm just really hoping to get some discussions going with you know the, the community and really trying to get some of these settings changes or some of these changes made. And you know I really feel like we need to see some really drastic changes for us to get that spark back. And you know we've seen it in the past. We've seen it in the past with like no bloom, no sprint with Reach. It was too late, but we sold out an MLG tournament with new settings because the game was random with Bloom and it, it and people didn't enjoy Sprint and they had this tournament and everyone showed up and everyone supported it and was like, this is the game we wanted from the start and it brought back that spark and I'm really hoping to get something like that going again. And the first thing I'm going to talk about is Radar. Um, I don't feel like you should change something that has been, you know, there in the past with, com with competitive. It's never been there before. You know, Raider's never been there, and it's a, it's a reward. Like, you're rewarding every single player in the game, and you give me something like a shotgun. And now, instead of, like, me having to... Uh, Eden, for example, I have a shotgun in my hands. And now, for example, instead of me having to check, like, the four different corners that someone could come in and flank me from, I just have to sit there and crouch with a shotgun and, you know, move forward a little bit if I see someone coming on that radar. And then as soon as he turns that corner, it's pop, just because I know he's there, because a little dot on my screen is telling me that. I should have to have at least some awareness or some type of skill to be able to pull something like that off and like know where he's going to come from. I should be able, able to have to check my corners all the time instead of just having something that tells me where an enemy is coming from. Like no games really have something like that. And that's something that's drastic that could be changed that could really, you know, re reinvigorate our community and the people that support it. Because right now our biggest problems are automatics, power weapons, and radar and, and spectator mode. Like, how, why is that not fixed yet? And I'm not trying. I'm not like. I'm not trying to like say, call anything out. But like that. That's a big problem with you know the viewing experience. People like the spectator mode. We were so happy to get that, and, and we're thankful that we do have something like that. But when when you're watching the spectator mode, like why why does it look like I'm missing all the time? Or like why it it doesn't it doesn't look like the person I'm watching is like hitting shots and like it's it just if I don't know enough about the game like that just it just doesn't look good. I, I, and, you know, I really hope something like that could be fixed. But regardless, that's not what I'm, like, really pushing for here. I think, you know, things like radars was what I'm trying to talk about, power weapons. And I think of a map like, like Eden, for example, once again. And I'm going to talk about Rig as well, because these are two maps that I feel like need to be talked about. And Eden has things that are considered power weapons. The Hydra, the, the shotgun, the sniper, the rocket launcher. There's a camo. There's an overshield. And that's for Strongholds and Slayer, but, like, Slayer has everything but the camel and the overshield, which is, like, which has a ton of power weapons. And the shotgun has a 10-second respawn time. I use five shots of the shotgun, and I'm just sitting in tower, which is, like, a really important place to, to control. You don't want the enemy team being able to push that. And it spawns in 10 more seconds, and I get that for free, for free every time. Like, something like that that, can, that is considered a power weapon should not, absolutely not, ever spawn in 10 seconds after being dropped. Like, and the reason that... You know, power weapons are so strong in a map like that is because it's setup based, and this isn't like Halo 2 Anniversary where you can only have one sniper on the map at a time. You have 12 shots in a sniper, all this ammo on a shotgun that keeps continuously respawning. Like power weapons are being used to get more power weapons because they're respawning on a, on a timer, unlike in the past where we've seen like where until that weapon is out of ammo, it will not respawn, which is why like we haven't seen this issue in the past, and now it's becoming such a problem. And power weapons really need to have their ammo like halved. Like, hardcore have. Fuel rod needs to be non-existent, abs just absolutely non-existent. I don't even know why that's a power weapon in general on in this game. It's a mini rocket launcher on a map like Midship slash Truth, and all we've ever seen in the past is a sword. You know, like, the, the, it's too much. There's too much going on, not to mention, like, storm rifles are spawning every 20 seconds under my base, and, like, these automatics are just being, like, dominant on, a ma on like, maps like Empire. Like, we need to see, like, hardcore cuts and automatics so, like... You're not just always being destroyed up close by someone who has radar and has the first shot on you with an automatic weapon. You know, we have the plasma, the plasma rifle, which is by far the strongest, like, plasma weapon that we've seen. Usually plasma weapons just get, your, get you no shields really fast. Like, with the plasma rifle and an H1, it, like, stunned you and got you really, really weak no shields. And the plasma pistol has always just gotten you really fast no shields. Now, we have a plasma weapon that's killing you extremely fast even after it gets you no shields. Not only does it get you no shields instantly, but you're basically dead, like... It's the strongest up-close automatic weapon at this point, excluding Warzone weapons. And they're on such a fast spawn timer that it's causing these, like, clusters of automatic weapons on maps like Empire, where we have, you know, Assault, we have all this stuff that is just, like, 
these nades and pit and these clusters of automatics and uh, like it's just I want to see less automatics on maps. I want to see less power weapons on maps. If they're not if if not less power weapons, then things like the timers for these respawns need to be longer. They need to have um like the caster needs to be nerfed. Absolutely. It the 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 big shot, like when you charge the shot, that's fine. That's okay. Like that was that needed to be buffed to begin with because it was it was weak and it honestly still is. It doesn't even kill a person if you stick them. The mini balls that come out after that have to kill them. And we have 15 shots in the plasma caster on a map like rig which is look at the geometry of a map like rig it's like it's like hallways flat surfaces and corners and and the plasma caster bounces off of walls it hits the ground perfectly you always know where your shots are going compared to a map like regret where you know like it's it's like it's pretty hard to dominate with the plasma caster on a map like regret like the geometry and surfaces of that map are like you know they're they're rounded like like kind of like this it, I, at pink, like pink one, and you hit this, you hit the corners of that. You don't hit good shots of the caster; they're bouncing all over the place, and you're not really getting kills. That's why I don't think it's too much of an issue on a map like that. But in general, it just has too much ammo and it's too strong. And on a map like Rig, which already has a shotgun, a sniper rifle, and all that, like it's it's too much, and it, it needs to be there needs to be something done drastically. But or there, there needs to be something that's not that that drastic. Removing power weapons and or moving power weapons around that kind of stuff has been done. You know, we did that last season, and we saw no nothing like really like that impressive in terms of what like people were saying. It was the same complaints that we saw before, which was radar and automatics. And you know, that's why I want to see you know this stuff have. But the things that are drastic that need to be changed are things like radar, and that is something that completely changes people's perspective. They're like, it's a it's a new game at that point. You know, it's it's everyone relearning what. We had already known in the past, but we're trying to relearn that now because the way the current Halo is does not feel like what we've known to love in past competitive Halos. It just doesn't. Um, you know, moving forward, things like I'm not even talking about this Halo specifically. Maybe I'm just thinking because I love Halo so much, like the future of what needs to be done, and things like sprint could be even talked about. You know, like I said, for like for like this game, if they were to even consider thinking like no sprint, like thrusting is still really cool. I think thrusting is cool, clamoring's fine, you can get to places cool, stabilize, all that's fine. Spartan charging, I'm not a fan. I'm not gonna like that's not what I'm thinking is like drastic or anything, but Spartan charging is kinda lame. Um Oh man, I'm losing my train of thought. All I know is I feel like radar needs to be changed. I was talking about sprint, but sprint is just like moving forward for Halo. We've seen it in the past. Sprint may be something that should not be in Halo games. And in this game, you need it for some of the maps that we have and the settings we have. And going forward, that's not something that I'm going to like pressure for because that would take more than just, that would take the entire next season of planning to figure out how to make that work. But just in general, like I do feel like that's something for future Halo games that may definitely need to be brought up. Um, but I really hope that you guys did enjoy this. Let me know if you have any thoughts or if you if you if you agree with what I'm saying. Uh, number one thing, radar needs to be removed. Automatics need to be toned down, hardcore. Um, maybe just one storm rifle on a map at a time. And power weapons need to be halved in ammo. They need to be just reduced in general on the on the maps and just needs to be talked about. We need to we need to spark this conversation. We need to get the ball rolling because we want to see our game back on top. We love Halo and people have those nostalgic memories of, you know, back in the day if they started gaming around that time and got it into competitive around that time like 2008, 2000, 2006 or like 2008, any of that time, it was Halo. And like they still have those thoughts and feelings and love for the for the game like and what they knew, but they don't enjoy what it's what it is currently and I'm really looking to get that spark back and, you know, I need your help, and they need our help, and we're looking to just make this work. So thank you all for tuning in. Get, leave your comments. Let me know what you think below. If I'm right, let me know. If you know, if you disagree and want to, you know, give your own opinions, please let me know as well, and just uh, just share this and talk about it. So thank you all once again for watching. Appreciate it a lot, and have a good day.